Hello friends, a while ago I found this lens, a Nikon 50mm 1.8 series E, fantastic lens, I love it, it is super compact and then uh, the image quality is rather good. And then I found this lens extremely extremely cheap because it has this really strange problem, you see the lens has a huge amount of play. You see the focusing gives this straw like really really strange thing and then obviously this does not allow you to work the aperture entirely so I got it home open the lens Okay, and then once I opened the lens, I found this. So this is the key which is supposed to do the focusing. And then as you can see, it moves a lot. And then uh, if you ask me, this part doesn't look at all like the original. And then this I'm sure because I actually got exactly the same lens here and then just for the sake of things I open it and check it and then this is the right part because this lens here has no play and then this one's here has this strange part which was obviously the original broke and then they found a replacement but then it is not the right size so let's take a look at this okay looks like the focus key of um, another lens but obviously this part here is too narrow it's really small and difficult to handle so this part here is extremely narrow so we have this strange play and then once I have removed this obviously this ring here becomes completely free. So, what to do? I need to replace the part. So, what I decided to do was to take this part and then, first of all, remove it. original part let's put this lens aside and then we need obviously to reproduce it so this got me thinking I can machine it but then this is going to be a lot of work for this part and then this lens to be honest is not extremely expensive so the time I'm going to spend machining and the energy is not really worth the value of this lens so I decided to do something different and then this was to make this part in 3d printing so I went to the computer so let's go to the computer so I went to the computer and then the first thing I did was to reproduce the part exactly as it was 
But then uh, that got me into thinking, uh, this part is made in metal, and then uh, obviously the part I'm going to do is in 3D painting, and it is in plastic, so plastic is weaker than metal. So I need to, this, to do some modifications, so I explained to you a bit the modifications I did. So here, these sharp corners, inner corners here, I remove because uh, this part is going to get efforts in this direction. So, and then I want to avoid the concentration of stresses. So I will make this part here, from here to here, straight. So I get a big chamfer here. And then here on the back, I'm going to make this thicker. So right now this part here is 0 0.8 millimeters, and then uh, what I'm going to do this this one this 0 0.8 millimeters I'm going to keep here in this part because I need it. I don't have space in the lens, but here I check it on the lens. The space is 2.7 millimeters, and then here I have 0 0.8. So here I'm going to double this thickness. I'm going to put 1.6, which is going to allow me here to have more material here and then obviously to have more resistance which is going to compensate in the difference uh, between the metal and the plastic so and then if I open the part so as I explained to you before so here I put a big chamfer here and then here I make this back bigger and then obviously I make these openings here to be able to put the screw heads so they don't go they don't go up uh, to hide and then they're going to have a conflict with the bayonet and then here I make this part here a bit tilted just to avoid some overhanging on the 3D printing because I'm going to print it flat here I tried the three configurations already and then this was the one I got the best results so now uh, we go I'm just going to show you a sample of the part being print so here we are back to the lens and then here we have the part you just saw before being print as you notice here I had to cut a bit otherwise it wasn't entering here but then as it was written on the video this was the best result I got I did several tries changing a uh, printing orientation this one was looking okay but then for some reason at the end it got really really nasty here I wasn't able to remove it from the raft so I ripped everything apart so if you're not familiar with 3D printing and the raft is this thing it's the base that you have here and then here this one as you can see I could not simply remove from the raft I even broke this thing here and then at the end what I did, well, what I did was to print it without the raft not something I like a lot but then the result here looks quite okay and now we're going to put it into the lens I got the screws let me get my screwdriver everything seems to work fine and then here we don't have okay just let me focus that and then here we have a very very small play but then it is almost imperceptible and then as you see the part 
works really really fine and then we found a solution a solution with which is, which is simple to implement and not really expensive because as i told before i thought i considered even making the part by machining but then and the time was when i was going to spend on that was going to be too much comparing to the price of this lens and then um with the 3d printing okay took me a few trials but then it was uh, five minutes each time then drawing the parts took me like some 20 minutes so not really a big deal and then once you have debug everything you can reproduce this part at infinity and then if you ever need this part to print in 3d just send me an email i will transfer the part to you so now we put the bayonet back into the lens screws are not, not magnetized which is really annoying and then here we are we have repaired this lens which is now able to go back to service everything works fine if you remember before okay i'll repeat this now it works fine and then if you remember before the aperture ring was blocking and now we don't have that problem so this is all i wanted to show you today Thanks for watching and see you next time.